Yo, what's going on guys? It is Foxy98 here. Welcome back to a brand new video for you guys today here on the channel. Today, I'm going to be covering some more Grappling Ball for you guys. It is my new game, which is out now. If you guys didn't know, Grappling Ball is officially available for you to purchase on Steam. As you can see, I'm over on the Steam page over here um, for Grappling Ball. If you guys want to purchase it, it, cur it currently, it costs uh, £3.99 or £4 in the UK. I think it's $5 in the US and I mean, you can literally just type in that into Google, into wherever uh, you are in the world and you can be able to purchase it um if you end up enjoying today's video though feel free to drop it a like and subscribe if you're new around here as well if this is a game that you're interested in like i said be sure to check it out and if you want to purchase it it would really really help me out what also would really really help me out is if you're someone that's not necessarily interested in playing the game but want to help support me and help just you know help me out in in general um feel free to just share the game to as many people as you possibly can get them uh, to know this game and uh, yeah it'd be very very much appreciated but as you can see this is the steam page here uh, for Grappling Ball. It is officially available for you to purchase. I am aware that there are a lot of people that it's have it added to their wish list. So if it's something that you want to actually purchase rather than it being something that you wish to purchase, it's just a small little price and it really, really helps me out. And here is some information about the game itself. You can get a little bit of information about how the game is going to work for you guys. Uh, it's also got the controls, so you already know what they are from here. They'll also be available in the game itself. A couple of things about the system requirements. They're just kind of average, really. It doesn't really take up that much in terms of requirements. This is probably a little bit over what it should be. This is just what my system is, mostly, and maybe a bit fake on some bits of my own system, obviously, because I'm not giving it all away. Um, and then, yeah, and uh, there's even a review that's been uh, put up. So thank you very much uh, to this user here. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that. I'll go with Kishara. Hopefully I've said that right. Um, I really, really appreciate it. This was posted on the 28th of Feb. Uh, it is a really fun and challenging game. You have to be both quick and precise. Also, there is room for being creative as there are multiple ways to get past an obstacle, which is what, in my opinion, makes the game so good. If something is too hard, you can just try and get past it another way. So thank you very much, Kishara. Not only for, first of all, purchasing the game, if you watch my videos, that is. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for personally uh, for purchasing the game uh, and also for dropping a review. It really, really helps me out. And uh, yeah, I love seeing the feedback. Uh, as you can see, 2.4 hours on record um, and 1.6 hours at review time. So which is awesome to see is that even after the review um, in which they've probably gone through and played through the whole thing, they've been able to go ahead and continue playing, which is absolutely awesome. But in today's video, I'm going to be going ahead and basically continuing where I left off. So in my first video, when I stated that we uh, had this game coming out for you guys, it wasn't actually officially released yet. And I think I went through the first four levels and we were on level five. So today, we're just going to chill out. We're going to go play through the next couple of levels, see how I can get on and pretty much uh, get a perspective from the creator and see if the creator is better than you guys, which probably not, but let's just find out, shall we? Let's get into Grappling Ball and have some fun. All right, here we go then. It's time for level five. Climb your way to the top of the course while trying to stay on the beams, which as you can see are rolling. So this is going to be fun. So the purpose of this level, it's pretty much to introduce these rolling beams into effect. I don't think we really had those um, as of yet. Move over there. Um, so this is quite an interesting opportunity. I really wanted to have some rolling tubes to go into the level itself. It was just about trying to manage how we would be, how I'd be able to implement them. Uh, and this was the easiest way to do it here. So um, let's get straight into it then and try and complete this. Whether I do is another matter, by the way. Uh, but here we go. All right, so that is spicy. Uh! Oh my god. Oh my god. You can't stop me. There we go. I'm going to do this the cheap way. You could do this the simp. You could do this the hard way. To be honest, both ways are even... I've said this before. Both ways are as efficient as each other, really, in terms of how you try and complete that. And you can see there that as we roll across... What's cool is that when you're rolling, you can see where the beam is rolling, which is why... Because originally, I just had red beams. And then I was just like, it's impossible for the user to realize which way the beam is rolling. So now you can see which way it is uh, rolling. And now we have got... Uh, this is actually one of the only levels where I put in some like little elevators. I might put them into some future levels if I create some DLC content uh, for this game, which I'd like to do, obviously. Um, and uh, let's pop that over there, and let's get you there, and now we're over here. Now, when you get to this point, this is the first sort of like checkpoint in the game. Um, because you've covered such a long distance, there's a separate respawn. But now we've got some uh, obstacles in my way that I'm going to have to try and avoid and get round. And to do that... I'm just gonna use my grapple to. Oh, I've just grappled onto the. Grappled onto the. Whoopsie, that's not what I wanted to do. Finally, right, I made it through. <laughs> that took me longer than I expected. Alright. Right, we're making our way through. 
Jesus, how, how it took me too long to do. I haven't played this in a little bit. I'm going to be honest. All right, I'm just, all right here we go. Boom, 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 dunzo. Now we've got these plungers that come out, and they're really, really quick, actually, so I've got to be quite careful. So, out, it, no, ooh. Okay, we good, we good. Out, and out, and go. And, oh, my God, that's terrifying. Out, and out, and out, and out, and go. Oh, my. I hit the wall. The wall on the inside respawns you. And I've gone ahead, and I've tapped it, and I'm now forever sad in my own life. Oh, now I've got to get through this beam again. Uh. Right, I made it back over here about 20 minutes later. No, I'm joking, I want 20 minutes, but... I suck at this level by the looks of it, it seems. Not my favourite level, level 5. Although, it's weird. It's one of those things... Oh, God. I'll be so careful when I'm trying to do this. Oh, I'm getting warped into. I'm getting... And whoop, and go. No, don't. Oh, my God. Just, just not... No, one, and in, and let me... Oh, my God. And yoop, and yoop, and let through. Uh, okay, we made it through. Whew, okay, right, we're done. We're done with the fifth level. That actually took me a bit longer than I thought it would. But we move. Level six. Use the monkey rails above to grapple to the finish. Quite a, quite a self-expansion one. Got a bit, of, a bit of tunes going on here. Now, again, with this one, you can monkey rail it. Like, we'll try. Okay, oops. We will try. I Did I not even... Did I just... Did I, I thought my jump wasn't working then. Um, there we go. Bollocks. You can monkey rail it like I'm trying to. Whether you can is another matter. I might just cheat. and Well, not really cheat. I might just go the other way. So what you can do as well is you can also, instead of actually just swinging, you can just grapple on top and jump through. Which is one of the beauties and why I love this game so much. Is Well, I mean, obviously, A, I made it. So, of course, I'm going to be biased in that perspective. But it also just allows you to just... Take your own route. You can obviously swing across them, but if you want to jump through them, jump through them. It's fine. Uh, I'm just going to try and get through here now. And, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, and just literally just hope for the best, really. Boom, there we go, right. Next stage here, these are swinging roundabouts, which are not the nicest things in the world. They can trip with your face, but we're through. Sweet. And then we've got another set of monkey rails to end this one off. I'll try and... Yeah, we go. And jump. And whoop. And through. Because even when you're doing these monkey rails, it's not as if you can actually... What's the one I'm trying to look for? You still have to do enough with your grapple to actually get yourself up there. And it can still be a bit of a task at some points as well. And bish, bash, bosh, and through. Level complete. We have done level six. Let's go to level seven then. And see what we've got. Work your way through various different challenges as you climb to the finish. Now, here we go then. We're going to have a look at what we got. Got a couple of little wall rides in here. Spicy, spicy. Um, to be honest, we can just... Boink. Ba -ba right, let's do this. Jump. Shit. <laughs> the easiest... Well, one of the easy parts of this, and I've somehow managed to... Let's see if we can try and get on to... No! Oh! Oh, I've caught myself on the propeller. Oh, that's true. Fuck me. I got sent to the moon. Oops. There we go. Nice little tactic there. You grapple whenever you get hit by those things. It isn't going to break. Um, so you're kind of in the clear on all fronts. Yeah, you can push me wherever you like. You're not going to break me. I'm unbreakable, as they say. And boom. Dunzo. Now I've got a rolling beam to negotiate. This rolling beam is not as fast as the other ones. Boom. Made it. Right. Now we've got some... No, I want to go up there, love. There we go. Nice. Nice. Not nice. Really not nice. Oh, my God. To... <laughs> Why? Why? I was just trying to explain things. This works. No, it doesn't. Right. Bloody blue arrows. We meet again. Nice to meet you. Well, not really, because you're... Screwed me over last time. So don't screw me over again, please. 
Now these blue arrows, I had to be quite wise. My, my ball is having a bit of a tantrum. It doesn't like what I'm doing. <laughs> these arrows are actually quite uh, interesting because what I've done is as the game goes on, the overall levels get darker and obviously brings in these lightings. And I put all of these platforms in for you to physically climb up like we are now. I'm just holding on to this one here. And it actually got to a point where you literally couldn't see the pad. They were just pitch black. So I actually went ahead and you can see, I mean, I put it on here. I also did it on the start of the level as well. Um, I had like a little light, or it's like a lamppost really, that's just like there. So now you have a little lamp light, which basically shows you where you are in, in terms of jumping through the arrows. Because otherwise, you genuinely wouldn't really be able to see where you're going. So that's in there for that precaution. And now we get to this bit here, which is, again, I'm just going to... Uh, oh, balls. At least when you get to this point, though, you do get a checkpoint. There is one in place. Get up. Nice. Um, so you can swoop across, and it's pretty much a balance beam, which is, uh, for some people, it's great. It's all about your control, though, how you can deal with all of that. And for this, again, I'm just going to avoid you by taking a shortcut. Love the shortcuts. Ooh. Oh, God. I'm, I'm smacking a propeller now. Let's get up there. There we go. Perfect. And then we've got a couple of roundabouts to finish us off. Christ alive. That's difficult than I thought. There we go. Boom. Smashed it. Boom. Level 7 complete. Let's move on to level 8. Jump your way across the small platforms to the finish. But be wary of the sweepers. This, this one's actually quite an interesting one. Turn my uh, thing down. This was actually quite an interesting one. Um, so we start things off. Again, you can see now that we're into level 8. So it now turns uh, pitch black in terms of outside. Um, and we're now going to jump over these beams, but just don't stay on them for too long because they are seesaws. They aren't there for your own guilty pleasure. Uh, and we're going to jump across, and then this is pretty much like the main force of this level. It's a massive, massive dome uh, with jumping platforms and these red sweepers, which I've just jumped over and, and completely spottled. And I'm going to try, and you can do this. Nice little clever hint from myself. You can. Oh, shit. You can jump on the on the sweepers. Now, someone did ask me if that was something that you're able to do, which I'm going to try and do again, which I've done successfully, because I'm a genius and everything that I, bollocks, uh, that I am. That is a complete... <laughs> it's completely intentional. You can go ahead and jump on those beams. It does mean that, obviously, like you saw, I skipped half of the, the level, but honestly, that's kind of the point, you know? It's... Find whatever's in your arsenal and use it. Because it doesn't matter what you're using. I'm going to... Oh, I'm getting attacked by my beam here. But yes, I've now completed half of the level already. But that still means that you've got another half of the level to get through. So it's not as if you're in a position when you've just like... Inst I mean, you can insta-complete it if you can double jump from one beam to the other beam. But you've still got... To uh Bastard. Well, I mean, that kind of worked in my favor. It actually pushed me to the finish line. But you can do that. If you want to jump on the... If you want to try and trial it out and jump from one beam, get yourself onto the next beam, and then beam ride to the end. Beam ride to the end. If you want to jump it all to the end, jump to the end. But that's level eight complete. I'm smashing it through. We're going to the next level now. We're going to level nine. Navigate your way through various challenges to reach the finish. I was actually really, really happy when I created this level. And it's because of the lighting. I don't know what it is, but... For me, making levels when it was dark and then adding all these lights in here, it was just really satisfying. I don't know what it... I, it's one of those things, like, I don't know. Making games when they're set at night, it's just my cup of... Bastard. Make it, making uh, these levels at night was my type of cup of tea, really. I just don't know what it was. Um, uh, you piece of crap. And it was quite difficult because then I... I made these... Le I made the night levels first, actually. Uh, and then I moved on to the... In fact, to be honest, I had so many concepts for these levels. It was ridiculous. But it got to a point when I actually had to go back through the... Uh, okay. Okay, we can get on. Um, I had to go back through the original levels that were set in the day and try and reiterate and, like, fix them up because I was just so happy with these night levels. I was just sat there like, these daylight levels just don't compare. I got some monkey rails to go through, although I'm going to just do what any anyone would do i'm just gonna jump over them because to me that's just better and jump jump and jump you could actually technically skip that and then we can no okay that works and through we go through and through and through and i can't make it through there and bosh now we're on to this section here with some giant roundabouts with some sweet but that smack me in the face don't uh Oh my god, that was close. 
very close actually. And we're gonna push to the finished line. Bish bash bosh. Level 9 complete. We've got one more level now to complete, and it is level 10. Using all of the skills you've learned, take on the final level and finish the game. Now, the premise for level 10, what I wanted to do is I wanted to make something that was that had a mixture of everything in it. And I wanted to make sure that it also had some new things in it as well. So that's the most important thing. So as you can see, we're now into level 10. So we start things off again with our beautiful, beautiful uh, surrounding. And uh, we're going to basically go and smash a wall down. So bash those bricks down. Get them out of our way. It's going to make our ball go a bit mad. But we're going to clear these out. Bosh, 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 bosh. I, I don't know what it was, right? I think I was I was explaining something to one of my mates about uh, or my, my, my family members about the level and I literally just spent like five minutes just <laughs> mashing all these bricks. I don't know why it was just funny at the time. So we start th We start things off by uh, going on to these. So it's another one of these that we just saw in the eighth level just a second ago. And again, you can just try that. You can time it to perfection. Boom, job done. Now Again, it's completely intentional. You can do that. So, by all means. Uh, next up then, we've got another one of these long climbs. Like we had in level 5 and in level 7. So we're going to try and climb up those now. But again, this time around, uh, the pink platforms are smaller. And it does mean that you fall off a bit more. So, that's not the one I wanted to grapple onto. I wanted to grapple onto this. Let's go to you. Let's then go to you. And then let's go to you in the middle. Let's try and get to you, and then I can get to monkey rail, and then bosh, and then monkey rail, and then jump, and then jump, and then miss. No, I'm good. And then smash, bang, bala. Now, we get to the next section. Now, this section actually has some slightly different tweaks about it. This has not really been seen in any of the previous levels, but it was something... Um, I wanted to add one of these into it, so... We've pretty much got these uh, platforms, which are a little bit slow, but... These are on seesaws, so you can't stay on them forever because you are going to fall off, basically. Um, so that is kind of the intention, is to make you be a little bit on your toes. And then we get to this section here. This lovely, beautiful section, which actually annoys me. Um, this is done via sequences. So what I've done is I basically said in the next 10 frames, I want the brick to or I want this, the platform to be like here. And then the next 10 frames, I want it to be here so then that's how it does its all flip thing and just leave it on the loop uh and this is pretty much what we come up with so now i've got to get onto this Ooh. okay yeah 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 oh my god that was close as hell jesus christ um where does it stop it stops there so it has like a little stop sugar puff i made it oh no the problem is now is um yes wait what oh for i was going backwards well, never mind. I'm gonna have to. I was going back. I wasn't even going forwards. Oh god, damn it! So wait, where does it? Where does it stop? I don't know. I can't see. All right, I got it. Not that one. Wait, no, it was that one. Eh. Bollocks. I'm above that probably. Boom. There we go. You can actually. Okay, so you can actually grapple through those, which. Kind of, uh, again, it's a quick way around it. But as you can see, the last bit of the level then is another one of these balance beams where you've got plenty more sweepers to your activation. But again, if you're clever enough, you can grapple past... Spat! No. You can grapple past them. So you've just got to literally just figure out where's the right route to take. I'm going to have to be extra... Okay, I've gone flying. That's not fun. Okay, we are back, and we're going to tackle this balance beam again. The last piece of my level. Uh, I That's not where I wanted to. Let's not have that, shall we? Let's try and... Oh, this is going to get, I'm going to get hit by the fan, but we good. We good. We good. Uh, no, no, we're not good. Okay, right, let's try plan... I don't know what my... I don't know what my other plans are. I don't really, I don't really have... Can I try and... Huh. Uh. I just grappled onto the actual box, which makes me respawn. That's not what I wanted to do. But we can always try again and then just fail, I suppose. That is that is something that we can definitely try and do a lot more often. Let's chop it down there and bang. Oh, this might take me a while to actually get across these beams. I could do them properly, but who wants to do them properly? Shortcuts are the best way forwards. Right, let's try this. Let's try this for actual properness now. 
Give that absolute proper society a good old proper propering. Who's bashing? God damn, someone's having an absolute smashing time out there. Hey. <laughs> right, now, we've got to jump over. Nice. Nice. I could... I, it's so tempting to just shortcut a bunch of things. But I don't want... I said it was tempting to shortcut things. What do I do? Try and shortcut things. What happens? I fail it. I might as well just try again for the points of YOLOs. Oh, yes. Get in. And you can see that my shortcut paid off. My persistence has paid off. And now as we come towards the end of this game, actually. I forgot. It's the whole end of the game. It's a big system here. And jump and swoop up we go. And to the finish line, boom, we have completed Grappling Ball. You have completed Grappling Ball. Thank you very much for playing. We can now restart our game and it will send us back to the first level. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed Grappling Ball. If you have, feel free to drop it a like, subscribe if you're new around here as well. Feel free to f uh, share the game as much as you possibly can to help me out. That would be really, really appreciated. And like I said, if you're somebody that is interested in purchasing the game, the link is in the description down below. You can go ahead and purchase it. It is available on Steam for $3.99. Um, but for now, guys, I'm out. Take care all. Peace.